नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर आशीष वशिष्ठ ई एन टी सर्जन एंड एच ओ डी ई एन टी डिपार्टमेंट मणिपाल हॉस्पिटल द्वारका टूडे वी शैल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग वी ऑलरेडी हैव समाइम्स एंड दैट इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ एंडोस्कोपिक साइनस एंड स्कल बेस सर्जरी विच इज बेसिकली द कंप्यूटर असिस्टेड नेविगेशन गाइडेड सर्जरी ऑफ साइनसिस एंड द स्कल बेस नाउ वाई इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द रूटीन सर्जरीज दैट वी हैव बीन डूइंग इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इवन द पेशेंट्स हुआ द प्राइमरी रिसीवर्स ऑफ दिस केयर must understand so our sinuses are important structures located between the eyes and the brain above and it is but natural that any disease here whether it is sinusitis uh, fungal disease or tumors have the potential to invade or affect the eye the orbit and the base of skull so what we do here and how computer assisted sinus surgery is different from the routine surgery is basically we feed the patient's pre operative ct scans into a system that is based in our operating room which is called the navigation system now in that navigation system we feed these scans i'm sure all of you who have underwent some kind of sinus surgery or have discussed it with your clinicians have seen their own your own scans on the consoles or the film that you're used to seeing with your surgeons so what we do here is we feed these scans into the navigation system in the operating room and when we are operating we do the endoscopic sinus surgery we can precisely correlate what part of the structure we are right now operating in now it may not be required in every patient in simple straight to forward cases but in every patient which has who has a complex situation such as affection of the orbit the eye the brain or the disease is very extensive which has not left any landmarks or the patient has had multiple previous surgeries with failure now this technique becomes very important because it grossly and significantly improves our surgical precision as well as reduces the complications and overall improves the amount of uh, control we have in surgery like you can see in these images this is our navigation probe these are all surgical images which we have taken during surgery and they show how we can very carefully pinpoint as to where our operating instruments are and where we are operating now all these are very important skull based structures and it is very important to realize that if you can pinpoint every structure then there is absolutely very little possibility of missing disease behind and obviously the the disease which is very extensive and is fraught with complications can also be removed in much more accuracy and precision so here we see the frontal sinus and the frontal sinus is the most difficult sinus of all sinuses to approach because of its very skewed location above the eyes so mostly we see a lot of failures in previously patients who have been operated for the frontal sinus disease because most instruments are not able to reach there most surgical teams are not very comfortable going into these areas because there is chance of complication injury to the eye to the brain so here what we do when we can conclusively prove that during navigation we can identify every single cell that leads our way into frontal sinus like so in these images and we can be very precise and sure that there is no disease left behind when we operate these patients now this patient was a patient of fungal sinusitis and it is so important to understand that if the fungus even a small bit of it is left behind in any cell that is close to the eye to the brain then there is a chance of uh, increasing causing complications extension and that could be life threatening so how we do it is basically it's like akin to using google maps but in a far far more precise way where surgical knowledge anatomical knowledge is mixed with high end computing where the pre operative ct scan taken in a certain sequence can guide the surgical team very very clearly and precisely as to where you are in the right now in the situation so this technique grossly improves the outcomes and uh, for anybody who has some fears or some reservations about the fact that they have to undergo a sinus surgery they have been told by their surgical teams that it is it could be a complicated procedure there are chance of complications it's a revision surgery or there is a tumor that's in the nose or the skull base area then i feel that this is a question that any or a resource that every patient can look up to whether or not the surgical team is employing the uh, use of the intraoperative navigation system is the future of surgery is the future of computer assisted surgery and when we have these tools available apart from the higher end equipment that we use i think it's a, it's a blessing for all the patients who have been uh, told that they require some kind of surgery for their sinuses or the the base of skull whether it be tumor disease or whether it be inflammatory disease so next time you are confronted with uh, a surgical issue uh, which is which confronts you or somebody from your friends and family and there are some reservations regarding the surgical safety protocols 
the possibilities of complications, the precision and the extent of disease removal. Uh, you may feel free to discuss with us or your surgical teams regarding the use of uh, intraoperative computer-assisted navigation for your endoscopic sinus surgery treatments. Thank you.